Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Mysterious Babylonian Temple The great city of Nippur was one of the very first in the world. It was built by the ancient Sumerians in the cradle of civilization, with the entire city being dedicated to the Sumerian god Enlil, the lord of the wind and ruler of the cosmos. The actual location of Nippur, meaning the ground the city was built upon, was occupied as far back as the prehistoric period by ancient people who lived in shanties and mud huts over 8,000 years ago. After a brief period of growth, the primitive humans who lived in mud huts began to build truly solid structures, and by 4,000 years ago, they were building temples dedicated to the gods they made up by looking at the sky. Not too long ago, archaeologists from the University of Chicago came across one of these temples in Nippur. But even though the city itself was dedicated to Enlil, this temple was made to honor a different god. In fact, it was built to honor a goddess, one named Gula. She was considered the goddess of healing. Back then, if people were dying or feeling sick, this is the goddess they would pray to. What that means is that 4,000 years ago, sick people in ancient Mesopotamia would have made their way to this temple, or one like it, to ask Gula to heal them. They believed the only way to be healed was to get on the good side of the healing goddess. Archaeologists found some rather strange figures in the ruins of the temple. One of the figures was of a man clutching his throat, clearly suffering from some kind of affliction. Another figurine showed a man holding his stomach. Nippur was placed on the tentative list under UNESCO's World Heritage Site in February of 2017. Number 9. Maya Chocolate Near the coastal Mexican resort town of Playa del Carmen on the Yucatan Peninsula, something shocking was discovered inside a creepy cave. Researchers with Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History found a vessel partially submerged in the Cueva de la Cruz Cenote. It was buried in the soft sediment and had been dumped there during the last rainy season when the cenote was flooded. The vessel is strange and remarkably well-preserved, painted red and black, and shaped just like a pumpkin. But it's what the researchers discovered inside the vessel that makes the story so interesting. They were able to date it back to the pre-classic period of Mexico, between 300 BC and 250 AD. They were also able to look at trace elements left inside the vessel and to determine what it was used to hold. It was used for drinking chocolate. Somebody over 2,000 years ago had sat down with this pumpkin-shaped vessel in both hands and chugged hot liquid Maya chocolate. It was seasoned with roasted cacao seed paste, chili peppers, and cornmeal. The liquid chocolate then would have been transferred from one vessel into another repeatedly until the top became covered in a thick, yummy foam. The drink had likely been used in an official ceremony or some kind of religious ritual, maybe for medicinal purposes. We're guessing it tasted delicious, but it definitely was not sweet. Number 8. The Mirror Afterlife in Norway, archaeologists recently discovered the ancient grave of a Viking warrior. This Viking was buried 1,100 years ago, and a sword was placed at his left side. It's not unusual at all for a Viking to have been buried with a weapon, but the fact that it was put on his left side is a little strange. Normally, a Viking would be buried with their weapon on their right side. Archaeologists believe that by placing the sword on the opposite side, the dead warrior may have been left-handed, but that's not the most interesting part. According to Raymond Salvage, the project manager, Vikings almost always buried their weapons on the opposite side that they were worn. So normally, a Viking had their sword fastened to their belt on the left side, but would have it buried on their right. Vikings believed that the afterlife was a mirror image of the real world, and so, in order to prepare them for the next adventure beyond death, all of their possessions were buried on opposite sides. Other than the sword, the warrior was discovered with a spear, an axe, and a shield. He was most definitely some kind of fierce fighter, since most Vikings in the Middle Ages were actually, contrary to popular belief, ordinary farmers. And now for number 7. But first, want to give a big shout out to Victoria Wagner and Marta Rodriguez. Thanks so much for watching and spending time with us. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 7. An Ancient Mine A group of cavers explored deep into an old cobalt mine in Cheshire, England that was abandoned around the year 1810. When they entered this dark and gloomy place, they had never expected to come across a small trove of artifacts. 
They found leather shoes over 200 years old, clay pipes that had once been used for smoking tobacco, and a mysterious inscription written in candle soot. The old cobalt mine is located near the city of Manchester. It was used in ancient times to add blue pigment to pottery and glass, and was a major export for England up until the 19th century. By the early 1800s, imports from other countries became cheaper, and the English mining industry went under. The people who went into the old mine were members of the Derbyshire Caving Club. Members of the club had been exploring the mine since the 1970s, but it was only recently that they came upon a previously unexplored part, and it was like walking straight into a time capsule. The old cavern was in almost pristine condition, as though the miners had left to take a lunch break and never came back. The cavers discovered a bowl buried in the wall, which they believe was something superstitious the miners did to thank the mine when it yielded good ore. But it was the inscription in the soot that really caught their attention. All that was written was the initials WS and the date August 20th, 1810. Seeing as 1810 was the year the mine shut down, this may have been one of the last miners to ever set foot in the chamber. But sadly, no one knows who WS may have been. Number six. Ancient Copper Crown Kiln workers in India were busy digging for clay for the village of Chandayan when they came across a mysterious skeleton. The workers had been collecting clay to make bricks, and the last thing they had expected to find was a dead body. But this was no ordinary dead body. The skeleton had a crown fixed to its skull. The crown consisted of a copper strip decorated with a pair of copper leaves, and it had one massive red bead fixed to it. They also found some bowls, pots, and a clay ball that may have been used in a sling weapon. The Archaeological Survey of India was dispatched to investigate. They performed a real excavation and discovered more chunks of the skeleton, including a leg bone and pelvic bone. They also found another piece of the crown and more storage jars. And 65 feet away from the burial, the team came across a huge collection of animal bones. It looks as though the kiln workers had stumbled upon some kind of ancient ritual. Archaeologists don't know who this guy was, but feel like he may have belonged to the Indus Valley civilization around 1900 to 1600 BC. Whoever he may have been, he was important enough that he wore a splendid crown of glittering copper and bright red jewels. He was buried right near a whole herd of animals that had likely been slaughtered in his honor. Then again, researchers also say he could have just been an extravagant individual with a rich taste in jewelry. Number 5. More Giants of Sardinia In Monte Prama, Italy, there are roughly 40 gigantic statues known as the Giants of Monte Prama. They date back 3,000 years and were first discovered on farmland back in the 1970s. The giants are, well, gigantic and were shaped in many different forms. Some of the giants appear to be boxing, some are holding massive curved shields, and others appear to have been holding weapons before they crumbled to pieces and were buried by the naturally shifting earth. In 2022, a new pair of monumental statues were uncovered. These things once stood over six feet tall and were found at the necropolis at Cabras, in the same general area all the other statues were found. Unfortunately, both the statues were in pieces. In fact, they were so effectively destroyed that most people would have mistaken them for boulders. Chunks of heads, arms, and torsos were excavated from the dirt, and researchers also found traces of a road. This road seems to connect to over 170 tombs that were found being guarded by the giants of Monte Prama, but nobody's really sure what it was for. It almost appears to have been a funerary road, a grim boulevard traveling through a graveyard where curious giants stood like quiet sentinels watching over the dead. Number 4. Bronze Age Spearhead Yet another interesting piece of the past was recently revealed in England. Excavations were being done at the Thames Water Sewage Works in South Cerny when researchers came across a variety of exceptionally old artifacts. I'm talking prehistoric, thousands and thousands of years old. The main discovery was a Bronze Age spearhead, but that was only the tip of the iceberg. The site of the sewage works itself lies over a multi-period archaeological landscape. In other words, a place that's been occupied repeatedly over the ages. Previous investigations already uncovered traces of human habitation going back to the Neolithic days and stretching all the way into Roman times. 
They have found a Bronze Age settlement that was made from quaint wooden structures, as well as an old farm from the days of the Roman occupation. But this spearhead is something altogether new. The archaeologists with Cotswold Archaeology first identified a group of roundhouses dating back 3,000 years. Then they stumbled upon a pair of old Roman trackways, which may have been used for bringing soldiers through the country. And finally, the pristine spearhead, found at the surface of a shallow pit. It's an extremely rare artifact, and it's in remarkable condition. It was most likely a weapon belonging to a primitive tribesman in Britain, though we don't know for sure. Number 3. Chan Chan There is an incredible little-known site in northern Peru. It's called Chan Chan, and it was the ceremonial religious center for the Chimu civilization. From between at least 850 AD and 1500 AD, the Chimu was a prosperous pre-Hispanic civilization that dominated the northern region of Peru before the rise of the Inca. They amassed great fortune, built gigantic cities of stone with wondrous monuments, and practiced a religion based around a sun deity. Their cities were so impressive that Chan Chan was actually the largest primitive city known in the Americas prior to 1470. After the rise of the Inca Empire and the founding of the Spanish city of Trujillo in 1535, the Chimu began a slow decline to extinction. Their great city, rather than be respected by the invading Spanish, was looted and destroyed. Archaeologists have already discovered all kinds of beautiful temples and lost ruins, but recently they made a new, smaller discovery at the site of Chan Chan. They came across a wooden figure that had been decorated with sheets of mother of pearl. The strange little figurine almost looks like a child's doll with black almond eyes, a pointy orange nose, and a triangular wooden loincloth. We don't really know what it was used for, perhaps in ritual ceremonies, maybe as a decoration, or maybe it was a child's toy. Number 2. An Egyptian Stroke Victim a team of researchers from New Jersey University were doing a detailed medical examination on an ancient Egyptian mummy, trying to learn about its life and death when they made a rather bizarre discovery. According to what the authors of the study wrote in their report, which was published in World Neurosurgery, the mummy was a woman. She lived in ancient Egypt and had suffered a stroke that left her seriously disabled. Her entire left hemisphere was paralyzed, and she had probably lived for years like that before dying of unknown causes. This was a remarkable find because until now, nobody has ever found an actual stroke victim from ancient Egypt or anywhere else in the ancient world. The closest was an 18th century Italian priest, and that was discovered in 2017. The Egyptian stroke victim lived 2,700 years ago, during the 25th dynasty of Egypt. She was between 25 and 40 and was buried on the west bank of the Nile River near Luxor. We don't really know anything about her personal life, only that she suffered a stroke at a very early age, and it may have been the result of a brain injury. Number 1. The Oldest European Face a team of Spanish archaeologists discovered the fossilized remains of one of our oldest ancestors. They discovered these ancient human bones deep in the Atapuerca Mountains in northern Spain. They were excavating a group of dark and spooky caves when they came across the fossilized face of a hominid that lived 1.4 million years ago. According to the scientists, this is now the oldest close human relative ever found in Europe. And here's where the discovery gets really interesting. Up until now, the first anatomically modern humans who arrived in Europe did so 50,000 years ago. There had never been any proof of humans in Europe a million years before today, and yet this fossilized face is very obviously human, or human-esque. This discovery is changing everything we know about history. At the same time that this oddly human-looking creature was wandering through Europe, the Homo habilis and other species of early humans were roaming through Africa with distinctly ape-like features. Until now, scientists didn't think human features existed for hundreds of thousands of more years, and definitely not in Europe. Whether this specimen represents a missing link between apes and humans is yet to be seen, but it's definitely a shocking discovery. It was only made in the summer of 2022, so we still need to wait and be patient to see what further analysis turns up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye.